Now, where's Rohan today? Thank you, Ben. I'm over here with Mr. Spratt. Hey, Mr. Spratt. Good morning, Rohan. Are you ready? For what? The Handbook Minute. Now, Mr. Spratt, there is a very uh, distinct uh, discipline policy here at school. Can you please explain it to everybody, the student body? Correct. Um, first and foremost, my job is to be supportive um, to ensure your success. And so when you get to something that you can't handle on your own, I want you to ask for help, either it be a teacher, myself, or anyone else on campus. But I know that sometimes students want to bend, break the rules. Um, and when that happens, that's where the corrective action has to come out. And so I pull the, dis the dean card, um, and our first of our tier system, we have tier one, which will be a minor consequence, maybe a discipline or so. But if that behavior doesn't correct itself and there becomes a pattern, then the consequences become more severe as we progress forward, possibly um, losing activities, leadership positions, suspensions, things like that. So we want to curtail it right away. So hypothetically, completely hypothetically, mm -hmm. if I was to um, take a picture of a friend's homework or something crazy like that, that would never happen, mm. um, what would happen? Definitely do not take a picture of anybody's homework. Uh, don't borrow somebody's homework. Don't do any of that kind of nature. That comes under the category of academic dishonesty. We highly uh, come down upon plagiarism, cheating, anything of that nature. That, in fact, will skip the Tier 1 process altogether, and we'll go straight to Tier 2, where you're going to come in to me, we document with a referral, we call Mommy and Daddy. That is not something that, uh, to be taken lightly. Uh, okay, moving on, Mr. Spratt. Um, now, if I have, like, a dentist appointment or something, you guys all know I have dentist appointments, mm -hmm. um, how, how does the attendance policy work? How does that go down? Well, most important is we want you here in your seat learning. So if you can make your appointments before school or after school, that's the best option. But knowing that you have so many things to do with your teeth, Rohan, we want to, we can deal with that. So if you need to, your parents can send, uh, they can call ahead of time to clear your absence. They can send a note afterwards to excuse it. Or you may need to get um, an outside pass. So we want you to come to the front office, you'll get your outside pass, we'll confirm with your parents that you're leaving. And those students who don't have a seventh period, you do still have to stay during the lunch period. If you do plan to leave prior to that, you also need to get an outside pass before you can step off campus. Now before we end this handbook minute, we want to uh, put you off the clock and just, is there anything you want to say to the student body? Um, I am so excited to be here with you this year. I know a good number of students from my past and being their teacher, but there are many, many of you that I do not know, and I want to be your hands-on dean. I want to get to know you outside of maybe the discipline or the advisory role. So as a hands-on dean, I want you to show me your best handshake. Meet me in the halls. Greet me on campus. You heard it here. Show Mr. Spratt your best handshake. Caca!